What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. You guys already know what we do here, man. If you're new, um, we break down scary room creepy videos on the net, on the web, from TikToks to YouTube to IG reels, anything weird, usual, unexplained, you can find right here on this channel. And the 2024, man, some strange things are already happening. Let's check them out. Damn, we got to, we got to, we got to swerve. Next thing I know, mm. it's like crazy. Like, we just see all these people running, like, you know, uh, that's the same as trending. Fat chicks, you know, old ladies, like, who I'm talking about moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, old people, even who I'm talking about moving. So, you know, my girl, she's like, what's going on? Like, fuck all that. We out. Like, I'm not going to ask no questions. We just going to follow the crowd. Next thing you know, you know, real, like, gunshots start going off. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to, we trying to follow the, follow the crowd, get out of there. I look back, I look back, no cap, yo, no cap. I look back, it looked like, like, like a big ass shadow, but it was solid at the same time, like a few, like a few shadows, but they were solid at the same time. And it, was, it almost looked like they was coming our direction, like they was chasing us, but they was disappearing and reappearing closer. So I'm like, yo, so we start really moving. Next thing you know, we start hearing more gunshots, like these dudes start firing at this shit. Get outside, mad police, all that. You know what I'm saying? They start the police just like trying to get all the people that ran out the mall. They like trying to like um detain these people, or whatever. But you know, me and my girl, we ended up just you know sliding past all that and everything like that. But you know, a lot of people saying why didn't nobody film and all that? But that type of shit is going on. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that, like some paranormal. Nobody thinking about no phone. You know? Everybody getting that's crazy, man. I haven't seen the freaking, you know, aliens from Miami story, bro. And some people, they was like, bro, they was like, if this obviously happened, man, why didn't they film it? But they said, when it's 2024, man, people not filming it. But as he said, but like, I guess when something like that's happening, you know that's not going through your mind. You're just trying to get safe. That's freaking crazy, bro. And we, the theories are already spinning, man. Some people are saying it's real. Some people are saying it's not. Tell me down below, man. What do you guys think, bro? Are there, is that, are there aliens in Miami? Looks like we got a, another view, <laughs> viewpoint. This costume definitely out there. No cap, I look back. It looked like, like, like a big ass shadow. But it was solid at the same time, like a few, like a few shadows, but they were solid at the same time. And it, was, it, it almost looked like they was coming our direction, like they was chasing us, but they was disappearing and reappearing very closer. So I'm like, yo, so we start. I ain't never even know. I ain't never even been to Miami. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Y'all be bugging. Y'all real shit, though. Y'all stay away from the aliens and all that. Y'all be, be sick direction, like they was chasing us, but they was disappearing. He saw there was videos of him talking about the Miami situation, saying it was in his Miami. Then, but then he switched it up, saying he ain't never been to Miami. So that's kind of alarming. Was he is he being a sinus man? I guess not trying to. He doesn't want to expose the truth, or did somebody get to him, or was he just I guess trolling the whole time, man? Like seeing all those cops and stuff out, man. I don't think that was a troll. I think something really went down, bro. That's freaking. It's mind-boggling, man. Aliens at Miami. Started 2024. Who do, man? Tell me down in the comment section down below, guys. Are the aliens at Miami once again, man? I need to know. Comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these. Okay, where's Ben? He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yes, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, mm -hmm. I, I hate to seem 
like a petty individual for picking apart lies. But Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some powerful people. What I mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. It's a cabal. It's a it's a consortium. They they rock with who they rock with, and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources that we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Because Shan. That one was exposing. He's really going off, man. Really picking exposing, I guess, the truth about the industry and people what they do to get their deals and stuff. A lot of stuff coming to light, bro. Don't miss anything. Hey, Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Absolutely. And he always was. That doesn't change when I change teams. That remains the same. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers, how, I. I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, there's three other black guys on there. Ooh. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. The latest predictions from The Simpsons. That's freaking insane, bro. So, is he applying something down, and that's how those other people's got their parts, man? You guys know that Cat Williams interview has been freaking blowing up, bro, because he was exposing all the industry sheikas and stuff. But they hear him talk about it, man, face to face with Shannon, bro. And here, like, some of those, those speaking, um, those comedians came out to try, you know, try to respond. Is it like people saying this makes you look even more guilty about what he said? That's freaking crazy, man. Tell me down below, man. What do you guys think of Cat Williams, bro? I'm supposed to the truth. Since for 2024, genuinely eerie. This one is absolutely disturbing. In season 24, episode 9, Homer Simpson is preparing a bunker fully stocked with provisions for his family, anticipating something dreadful on the horizon. Shortly after a solar superstorm strikes Springfield, a silent, invisible tempest sweeping through the town, causing severe consequences. This catastrophic event leads to a complete shutdown. No internet, no electricity, everything comes to a standstill. A solar superstorm could wipe out the internet for weeks or even months or even forever. The portrayal of a solar superstorm in the episode aligns with the potential real-world impact such an event could have. Interestingly, NASA has recently made a shocking discovery a massive hole in the sun called the coronal hole this hole large enough to engulf 60 earth sized planets is currently releasing solar storms at a staggering speed of 1.8 million miles per hour and could be headed to earth fast the last time the earth experienced such a storm was in 1859 it was known as the carrington event the 2024 solar storm is predicted to be 60 times more powerful powerful than the 1859 solar storm possibly the strongest ever recorded in history such solar storms can have catastrophic effects on earth affecting satellite power grids gps and potentially wiping out hard drives and the entire internet permanently might take decades for us to recover it's only a matter of time it is a it's really freaking crazy to think about, bro. That event like that already happened in 1859. And, you know, Simpsons and stuff, and then we got to have, I guess, history of, you know, stuff happening in the cartoons, and it happens and translates in real life. So that's something we definitely got to keep an eye on, man.
the carrots and everything. I'm definitely gonna do some research into that. Never knew anything about that, man. Crazy. Declare war. Now it's, it's getting ready for war with China and Putin at the same time for a very important reason. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin are about to completely alter the international power structure and the monetary system. This is why they're getting ready for war. No other reason. The biggest story in the world happened this week in Moscow, and your mainstream media ignored it. This week, Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin signed 14 different documents in their face-to-face -face meeting. The biggest had to do with trade and currency. It's perhaps the tensions between the world's two most powerful countries, the United States and China, after several military close calls. In the most recent incident, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command says a Chinese warship came within 150 yards of an American destroyer above the Taiwan Strait. These images were captured by Canadian broadcasters. Global news tonight, both China and the U.S. are standing their ground. ABC's Elizabeth Schultz reports tonight from the White House. Man, bro, so how those freaking ships are like that close to each other, man? That's freaking scary, bro. The times we live in, man. Every like little small thing can spark up a whole event, bro. Yeah, man, we're checking out these videos together with you guys, man. I'm learning and expanding my information, man. Like I said, don't believe what I say, don't believe the video says. Always do your own research, man. But it's nice to, you know, just to stay current, man. Out of Montgomery County this morning, a 2.3 magnitude earthquake was reported in Rockville. This happened just before one o'clock. Right now, some people on X saying they felt it, they heard it, but there are no reports of any damage or any injuries that we have yet. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn any more. If you felt anything or saw anything, feel free to tweet us or X us if you. And you see this, Martin? It's freaking crazy. What they said it was three earthquakes within the last 24 hours. It was at Japan, Maryland, bro. It's like earthquakes happen all over bro it's crazy man how we just entered to 2024 man we got like some freaking crazy crap happening already bro entering the year man definitely gonna do some more research into that bro like what's up with all these earthquakes that's happening how come that's my first time you know like seeing being reported bro make sure we have some really important questions man you guys know the deal down below Zuckerberg building this $270 million bunker. If you have a billion dollars, we have learned that you can do whatever you want to do. When Elon Musk wants to send space things in space, you don't have to ask nobody's permission. Congress don't meet. Senate don't meet. No police department got to be warned. He don't need a permit. <laughs> None of that. If you got a billion dollars, you do what you want to do, and then you tell them what you did. Hey, and that's how it goes. What do you know about a two hundred seventy million dollar bunker? What do you know that we don't know, Cap? Kim Jong Un. <laughs> what? I don't know what you don't know. <laughs> do you understand that people that are not very bright are in charge of nuclear bombs all across the country? <laughs> that's what he knows. He knows that thirty percent of all weapons systems are running off regular Wi-Fi. So what does that mean? That means if a solar flare or a meteor hits either one of those, literally a bomb can go off just because the system accidentally got turned off. Yeah, that's what he knows. Mm -hmm. the, the people that are in power know that the people that are running the most complicated and deadliest things on the planet are just an average idiot and you know lots of idiots i do yeah and these these people are not special back mm. in the day they were yeah not today we that's freaking crazy bro you saw kevin williams went to the freaking solar flare and we saw a couple of freaking videos man talk about the solar flare so it's like it's all freaking connected man that's actually freaking insane bro but I have to see, man, like how some billionaires were built on bunkers and stuff. And I was kind of getting worried. I'm like, yeah, what what did they know that we don't know, bro? Like, why, what are they preparing for, man? It goes to show you, bro, how you always, I guess, got to stay ready, bro. Even though you don't have the resources, I guess, of a freaking billionaire, you can always try and plan, bro. Always think ahead. Tell me that below what you guys think.
be doomed to face a nuclear war in 2024? This is what Anunnaki expert Zechariah Sitchin believed and prophesied in his last book, The End of Days. He also believed that history is cyclical and that we are destined to undergo repeated sequences of divine revelation and judgment. The first Armageddon we faced, according to Sitchin, occurred in 2024 BC. Sitchin claims that the bombing of Marduk's enemy territory caused nuclear fallout that drifted towards Sumer, which created the evil wind spoken of in the Sumerian text. Interestingly enough, it was the god Ninurta who bombed Marduk's stronghold. Ninurta's emblem was the double-headed eagle, the very same symbol that was used by Rome and now Russia. Marduk's symbol was the snake dragon, a symbol frequently described throughout the Bible, specifically in the book of Revelation. Crazy, bro. All those freaking symbols were like, was aligning, man. It's freaking crazy, bro. And I said that was his last book, so I wonder, did he pass away or did he just stop writing, man? But when those symbols aligned, bro, said the wrong, then Russia used it. That's kind of, that was scary and spooky, bro, that they really lit the light, man. Ooh, it's ticked off, bro. All these videos, man, they be freaking <laughs> expanding my mind, bro. In 1955, Nostradamus made 942 terrifying predictions. A lot of those prophecies have since come true. In 2024, he predicted that China would become the leader of the world both politically and economically. He also predicted we would see elected, the last president of the United States. That's not all. He got very specific when he said the last American president would be black. Mm. Did Nostradamus predict that Kanye West would become president? Yep, this terrifying. Really? That's his prediction? A, a ye presidency? I can't imagine that, bro. I don't think if Kanye ever got to office, man, you know the way he's been acting. I feel like that will be like a sign of the and age, bro. There's no way Kanye can get to office. That's just even a scary thought, thought to think about. You got to go to jail. My situation is happening soon, and 2024 might be the start of a fiery apocalypse. People were terrified after it was said that NASA reported a storm caused by the sun, and it's believed to have as much power as a billion nuclear bombs exploding. This is believed to be caused by huge explosions in the sun. However, NASA noticed an increase in sun activity recently and left a terrifying message saying the sun storms will be at its peak in 2024, with many news sites reporting an internet apocalypse saying that when this happens, Earth will not have the infrastructure to handle this, causing an entire shutdown of the internet for months or years. The damages would be catastrophic as the entire world's economy would collapse in in just hours. A computer science expert reported that Earth is just simply not prepared as we've never experienced this before. NASA has come out mm -hmm. since then and talked about how they actually don't have enough information to determine how strong these solar storms will be and the damages are all currently just untrue speculation. So Russia released this Sounds crazy. in 2024 and very eerie to me. It doesn't sit right with me. It almost seems like it's foreshadowing. We're gonna go through a few of the pictures. By the way, TikTok is mad at me, so if you see this video on your recording page, let me know in the comments, please. Mm. First off, why is there a Russian military right in front of the Capitol? And why does it look like a huge end of America scenario is going on right behind me? And don't forget, Putin has been meeting with Z all of 2023. In their last meeting, Z had said that there were changes coming not seen in over 100 years. And with all the world events lately, all the movies coming out and everything geopolitically, this calendar is just very strange. It looks like the bear is in attack mode. And we know that people aren't too fond of the USA right now. Soldier with a cat showing displaced animals where combat would be happening. Here's the US Capitol again, and here is Putin, all buffed up and ready to go to war, kind of like that bear was. And as you saw in that tweet, the calendar was released by the Russian feds. And that's actually what the lettering is on this car, the FSB. And this last one's pretty deep. It's a Russian soldier standing beside Peter the Great 
We're about to get into it. And also a medieval uh, bow tire of Russia. I'll show you why it's significant. Peter literally modernized Russia, who was lagging behind the West at the time, and really just rebirthed a great society in Russia. But let's see the other one real quick. So here's that medieval warrior. And it said they fought against like the Tartarian Empire, or the ones that opposed them, and mm. slaying a dragon. So we have Peter the Great showing great rebirth of Russia. We have the Baron Sakmode, capital overthrown, him slaying the dragon. Sun's about to go down. Chilling prophecy that. I think it's freaking crazy, bro. That freaking counter he said was released by the Russian police, bro. I guess it was like, I don't know if that was like symbolism of, of them trying to like overtake America or something like that, man. But it really gets your mind thinking, bro. I mean, he said that freaking Putin and uh, um. Chinese president will be in all summer 2023, bro. Yeah, I start asking some questions, man. What do you guys think? You know what to do. That casts a shadow over the year 2024. A prediction so crucial that you don't want to miss it. According to a prediction, technological dystopia is bound to happen in 2024. An authoritarian will regime control, utilizing advanced surveillance technology to monitor every aspect of citizens lives really? privacy will become a distant memory and dissent is met with swift and severe consequences the integration of cutting-edge technology will intensify social control leading to a nightmarish world where individual autonomy will be sacrificed for the illusion of security we have seen glimpses of this prophecy happening in 20 20 and 2023 where big technology and media companies have taken control over people minds and thoughts they will force you to believe whatever they want which will cause the population of the world to divide and fight each other resulting in taking the attention of population off of big concerning issues mm. beware because this prediction have already been noticing getting true yep. this terrifying situation is about really it's been proven true hmm. i've been seeing some things but not I guess extreme things like that, what the um, video was talking about. <laughs> Making me open up my eyes even more, bro. Gotta pay attention, bro. About to come true, and 2024 may be the start of a new ice age. Citizens were terrified after scientists confirmed that Italy and the rest of the world is in big danger, and there's not much we can do. <sighs> Volcano Campi Fragre is said to be the world's second most powerful powerful volcano and it's about to erupt and when it erupts it can cause the same damage as Pompeii to the world. The issue is that Campi Fraga currently lays on top of magma that is reported to be connected to Mount Vesuvius. Mm. This means that when Campi Fraga erupts it's believed both volcanoes could go off at the same time, causing not only destruction of Italy but possibly turning the entirety of Earth into a permanent winter for up to three years. Not only affecting the crops, but the air quality and our drinking water won't be safe anymore. Currently, there is a big chance Campi Fragre could go off in the very near future, with 1,100 earthquakes happening near Naples in just the past month. With a study from the Communications Earth and Environmental Journal saying that this eruption is a realistic possibility. Time to head to the moon. That's scary. What the f is that, dude? What? Project Bean. It's our first time seeing something like that, though. Huh.
44. Project Bean, well, like I said, I've been hearing some things about it. That's my first time seeing it in action, and it's truly freaking scary, bro. It's like a flash, and you just see that beam just for a second, bro, and it just disappears, man. It seems like it's causing damage to somewhere, man, but we just don't know. I need the chills, bro. Or is starting off really scary. What are your thoughts? The UFO? What's up this alien, man? That's 2024. Yo, what the f***? The pilot who captured this was flying at about 30,000 feet to fly a jetliner over top of the lake. And so he got on his iPhone and just started recording it. When they captured it, they saw it out in the distance. They were like, what is that? When he zoomed in on the, the picture, that's what they saw. Damn. Yo, look at that. This is all 4K2, bro. I don't know, bro. Okay, man, I don't know. I mean, no, it looks like a UFO. Congressman haven't talked about it. This looks a lot like the objects that were captured on October 16th by Camilo A. Herrera, who posted these photos and said that the UFO was seen in midair over South America on that day at 5 p.m. over Kalamadarian. It remained static for about 40 minutes and then descended mm. into a forest. It's all connected. It's a big shadow, I see it. Exposures to back. I've been freaking crazy. trying to get out of here for the last like 10, 15 minutes. You the no, I just freaking tried to go to the bathroom and I found myself in the, the middle of nowhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. freaking, oh, guess. Um, let me get Carol to help me out. Okay. How did you get back here? I just, just opened a random door and next thing you know, I'm in here. What is that? Stairwell after door after sheesh. What is this place? Whoa. What is this? This big empty area in here. Hello, can you help me? Pretty sure the aliens are coming in. See, dude's in the damn bathroom, and it seemed like it, bro. Talking about he's just trying to go to the bathroom. And he said there's stairwell after stairwell, bro. Case after case. She said that's just an office space, man. But when you opened it up behind the curtains, there was definitely more to it. So she was definitely lying, bro. Got some secret rooms in Disney, bro, we need to learn about? Hmm. You know what to do. The pilot who captured this was flying at about 30,000 feet to fly a jetliner over top of the lake. And so he got on his iPhone and he just started recording it. When they captured it, they saw it out in the distance. They were like, what is that? When he zoomed in on the, the picture, that's what they saw. What is that? Only that, but the big wigs in the West are making super bunkers right now. Have you seen Zuckerberg's super bunker? It's massive. What are they getting ready for? What do they know that we don't? What if I told you the universe don't interfere with the government tactics because they're not breaking universal laws? Would you believe me? I don't care if you're good or evil. There are certain laws in the universe we all must live by. And if people can find a way to get around these laws, karma don't come back to them. Life in the universe is all about growth. So if you are going through something in your life right now where you're trying to wake up, the universe is going to support you. Remember, there was a time where the woke people were asleep and the universe still supported us. It's important to overstand this because once you get in a matrix, you overstand that there are certain things that just don't seem right. Especially when you wake up and you try to help other people wake up and they just won't wake up. It goes by natural laws of the universe. What the government did was they lowered our vibration and made us forget about love and oneness. But once we forgot about love and oneness, our vibration on this planet actually drop. Therefore, they can break universal laws 
and not break it at the same time. He made us drop to our knees and pray and beg for a God outside of ourselves. So as long as you're waiting for someone to save you, you will never be saved. The real universe is within us, but they told us it's out there. Remember, knowledge and wisdom is our birthright. We was born with these things. They're not given to us. They're born within us. I've been on my spiritual journey since 2010. I was so called woke when it wasn't even cool to be woke. Now it's a cool thing. But I came across certain knowledge whereas I learned about real freedom and how to break the rules of the matrix. Everyone on this planet is supposed to be free. Go back within and overstand the universe that's within you. Once you overstand this, nothing outside of you can actually break you. By the way, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one conversations on how to break the rules of the matrix and go back within yourself. The link is in the bio if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one conversation. All you got to do is go to the bio, circle how to escape the matrix, and set up an appointment. The reason why you want to know this knowledge to how to escape the matrix is because we all have certain amount of reincarnations. We have certain amount of reincarnations to get this thing done right. If we don't get it right, then we will be stuck in the matrix. Schedule your appointment to learn how to break the rules of the matrix. It's about the clips. He's talking about the laws of the universe and birth and reincarnation, man. I guess how he said the government is lowering it so they can break it and not break it at the same time. It's an interesting topic, bro. I definitely want to check out. Tell me down below that you guys believe what he's saying. What are we saying? They never wanted you to know part one. So I'm sure everybody you know what this is. This is the 2017 solar eclipse pass. This is the 2024 solar eclipse pass. So we just have a here. And it coincides right here. And I'm coming down for something for the noise, which is gonna be just a very, very good look at this pattern. These paths on this map. Matching up to the fault lines, bro. He said April 6th to April 12th, man. So we definitely gonna have to, I'm definitely gonna be picking no alert around that time, bro. Make sure nothing going crazy don't go down. Whew. YouTube, that's it, man. Off of this video for you guys today, man. Tell me what you guys think about these videos that I found for you guys today, man. Um, like I said, thank you guys for the support. You've been showing all the um couple of um past videos, man. We're trying, we're um going for a thousand, man. I know we're gonna hit that, so thank you guys once again. Subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that like button, man, so we can get to the algorithm, so other people can see it, so we can grow our community together. I'm out. Peace, YouTube.